teaching this one because it's all about the expanded core curriculum. My name is Kathy Bingham. I am an expanded core educator here at the Utah School for the Blind, and I work primarily with students in outreach. So our sense of vision is like our primary means of taking in information for our environment around us. So if you have a vision impairment or if a student has a vision impairment, then they either won't be able to take that information in at all if they have no vision or they may have fragmented parts because some vision impairments, maybe they can only see what's directly in front of them but they can't see in the periphery or they may possibly not be able to see directly in front of them but they can only see what's in the periphery or maybe they won't be able to see the details of what's around them so they're getting um, a fragmented picture of their environment and their world around them think of everything in our world around us and if I have a fragmented view of that I need to be explicitly taught all of that my name is Becky Weeks and I am the expanded core curriculum coordinator so the expanded core is actually nine areas. And remember, it's a disability specific curriculum. So they've taken these nine areas that have components. So there is access areas. And in the access areas, we have compensatory, sensory efficiency, and assistive technology, right? Those are your access skills. Then we go on to community readiness. And those areas are orientation and mobility, self-determination, and career education. You can see how those complement each other out in the community, right? And then the last group of three are the independent living skills areas, and they are recreation and leisure, independent living skills, and social interaction. I have a program called Short Term Program on Location, and it's designed for students that are eight to 12. I hold them at five different areas across the state. So we meet in Logan, we meet in Ogden, we meet in Tooele, we meet in Salt Lake, and we meet in Springville. One of the great things about my job is I get to work with students and I get to teach them skills that the parents don't know that they have and they don't know that they've learned that skill. So I can think of one student that was in my cooking class and she had learned to use the George, George Foreman grill. She can cook hamburgers on it, she can heat it up, put it on, cook it, time it, take it off independently. Uh, and her mom happened to come. And I was so excited because I love, one of the best parts of my job is sharing what the students can do with parents. And, and I said, oh my goodness, you will not believe what Cammie can do. Cammie can cook meat on a George Foreman grill. And she's like, what, really? So now she can be cooking at home with her family. Knowing leads to doing. So once we know something, then we can do it. However, as we do it, that can also lead to more knowing. And that's kind of a theme for us as we have evolved our programs here at USB. The families themselves, the parents, they love to come together and be together to talk about things and, and share their experiences. Um, I can think of one family that, um, you know it's a successful activity in the summer when a family drives from St. George to Farmington to come to an activity that's a family activity for Utah Schools for the Blind so that they can be with other families and bring their child to be with other children who have visual impairments and they make friends and, and it's great now with all of the technology people are keeping in touch. So the social component is probably the biggest benefit our students get from the programs. Then we get icing on the cake because we get to learn all of these other skills as well. We get to learn our independent living skills and we get to focus on very specific skills in our community. And I also need career education. The employment rate for individuals with vision impairment is only about 10 to 20 percent. So we need to work with our students to help give them those career education skills so they can go out and beat that statistic and be employed.